so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my, uh, my secret truth about scalability. Um, I'm just going to have to rewind a little bit here. I'm just going to quickly talk about what a scale unit is. Um, so let's say we have a web application um, and you can scale that. Let's say I'll just go back to my always general 1 to 100 um, instances of your website. Um, doesn't really help too much your data tier, most likely. Um, so being able to scale your, your web server at some point, um, you'll scale this up so high that your database won't be able to fulfill the request. So going back to what I was talking about previously on uh, scale units, um, this could be become your scale unit, um, enabling you to figure out how you can scale past um, whatever that specific workload that it can handle, but it's really important to figure out what that is. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna use small numbers here, but let's say your web servers combined um, with your database, you can service, you know, like 1,000 um, users. Um, so this is, this is good. Um, this kind of starts showing now. This is something you can show to like uh, someone in the C-level and just be like, the idea here in my mind is that right now, let's say we have one web server running, within like 10 minutes, um, we could have 100 web servers running. So you could tell your CEO or whomever that if we get a spike of traffic, in the next few minutes, we'll be able to handle um, the maximum number of load um, for our system. So that's how scalable it is um, with, without going beyond like the scale unit. Um, going beyond the scale unit, a lot of times um, there'll be manual intervention. And so this is really the next piece and the secret sauce that I think that is the truth about scalability is that in this time frame, we're talking, let's say, 10 minutes, and again, that can be way longer than it would actually take, but on the 10 minute side, we can be reactive to the, to the surge of traffic. Now, on the other side, we actually have a really interesting um, piece that I don't see a lot of people talking about, um, but that's the human element. And so, you know, I've actually, you know, been involved in some seriously uh, crazy scalability stuff um, that had nothing, well, not much to do with automation. We did all we could do with the automation. Um, and actually what happened was uh, one of my good friends was running a t-shirt company and one of their t-shirts got a huge amount of exposure on Reddit and they were getting like 10,000 requests per second. Um, so we maxed out um, what we could do with the system they had in place. Um, they were basically running on like a WordPress site, um, but, <laughs> but the idea was that in the background, I was actually um, duplicating their system and moved it onto Azure um, and gave them the ability to um, scale this out. And so they had pretty poor response times, but they were serving clients in the, I think it was like three hours that it took to start building out other environments um, and get that, get all that data moving. And so on this side, not the best experience. They had like some requests for like 10 seconds and then we got them over to here and we're back down to, well, I'm just gonna say the one second, right? But the thing here is that you never hear people talking about is, sure, that piece is scalable. But having a plan and knowing how you can move it far beyond that is much more important even than this. Um, so figure out your scale unit and then understand that there's actually humans there that are able to react to incoming traffic and to be able to actually make your systems more scalable. Now hopefully this isn't that three hours we have to do it or we're gonna die thing um, where you can actually plan this out over you know, weeks or months depending on what your system looks like. Um, and just start moving it in that direction. Um, but remember to add humans to the story is a huge piece of scalability. Anyways, I hope that was interesting. Um, please leave comments below. Uh, this is, to me, a little bit crazy, uh, just that we never hear it in the industry. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Anyways, have a great day. Bye.